All right, welcome to another episode of Barley Pop. I'm here at the Blue Bowl in Carson City, Nevada with Cameron once again, and he's going to be showing us how to make another drink here today. Um, I'm excited. Hopefully you're excited at home. If you've been watching these, you know what kind of skeptic I've been lately about these, uh, but they've all turned out great. So I hope you guys get a chance to come down here and try them out. So what kind of concoction do you have for me now? Okay, ready for this one? It's going to be a, a cucumber lemonade. Yummy. Yeah, yeah I always get that, man. <laughs> Um, the cucumber lemonade is actually a really delicious drink. Sometimes people underestimate how sweet a cucumber can be okay. and how well it mixes with a lot of liquors. Right. Um, we start off this recipe with just a Boston shaker again with a little bit of ice in it. Um, we use lemon juice, cucumber puree, and Hendrix gin. Hendrix we use because Hendrix is a cucumber-based gin. It's a very good gin. Oh, really? You know, I'm not a gin drinker, and I actually swear by this stuff. It's, it's delicious. Okay. And then the, uh, the cucumber puree is actually very easy to make. We take English cucumbers, uh, get them from the store. You basically cut them in quarters and skin them. They have a really thin skin, so it makes them easy to use as a garnish or, or, to, or to blend them up or anything like that. You take the seeds out of them, chop them up into little cubes, throw them in the blender, like a tablespoon of, of sugar for every four cucumbers or two cucumbers you use, and a little bit of water, and there you have it. Make it fresh about every three days because it can spoil, so it's something to keep your eyes on. Anyway, getting back to it. One and a half ounces of Hendrix Gin is how we're going to start this one out. Now, this is a jigger. Standard jigger load is an ounce and a half. And with this, uh, uh, so far, we all, all the cocktails we've gone over here have all been very much refreshing kind of summer drinks and everything else. And this also sounds like another one. Um, so if you're trying to beat the summer heat and you're going through and thinking, hey, I need a drink or anything else, this is really the place to go um, because so far every single drink they've made, it's very refreshing and it's very much for the summertime and everything else. Lay black, have a good time. Um, Simple, sir. <laughs> I, I figured that. <laughs> um, and that's what they seem to be all about here and everything else. Um, some of the bartenders will want you to get naked. Some of them just want you to look at them, and that's how it goes here. Some of us want both, really. Yeah, there you go. So next we're going to use, after we got the simple syrup and the gin in there, we're going to use about a half a, a lemon. I go by normally size of lemons. We use pretty good cuts here. About three of them equals a half a lemon. And just get dirty with it. Just squeeze that thing in there. Don't worry about the seeds. The strainer's going to take those out. So we got lemon, we got cucumber, and well, that's all righty. And then we use the half ounce of cucumber puree. And this stuff actually a little goes a long way. You'd be surprised. Oh, yeah. Look at that. A lot. Right there. Same rule. You normally want to shake it optimally about 10 times. If you do over, if you do less, it's no big deal. Basically, you want to feel the tin get cold. So you take it over your shoulder like Tom Cruise and Pop there. All right, it should be pretty well shaken. We put a little ice in the bottom of this rocks glass. And this one doesn't have too many garnishes. It's kind of it's kind of hard to throw stuff that makes something look pretty on it after you tell them that it's made with cucumber and lemonade. I, I would think so. It's like, it's like uh, drinking Robitussin. You're like, just get it over with. Just give me the teaspoon. We'll get this over with. So give it the pour. Look at that. And for the moment of truth. All right. For you at home, can you try this? Oh, man. All right. Uh, that is a real tasty drink, and I'm not going to lie. I actually really hate cucumber, and this is really good. <laughs> um, you know, you've impressed me once again with this. Um, so you, you guys have all these lists of these nice, refreshing summer drinks and everything else. Now... Do you guys do seasonal stuff, or is it just like summer you have your main drinks and stuff, and then it's like the rest of the year you just go with normal drinks? Or like, what? Yeah, we're guys making stuff for every time of season, and we we try to switch up the menu about every two months based on the okay. season. Like for instance, around December we had a, a white Christmas drink, or we had a peppermint okay. kiss. You know, you garnish it with a, a candy cane, and you make it look all appealing. Winter we'll do hot drinks. Um, seasonally, uh, fruit that's seasonal, we normally try to incorporate them, and whatever's going on, we'll probably have like some kind of pumpkin drink come fall. But uh, we just try to keep it progressive as much as we can. Use fresh fruit always. It's always going to beat out frozen stuff or, or stuff you buy at the frozen aisle at your grocery store. And uh, yeah, yeah, kind of just All keep right. in mind what time of year it is. All right, sweet to. Well, thank you very much at home and everything else for watching us. Thank you, Cameron. Blue always, Bowl. always enjoy coming here. 
Um, any given night, you can see me spinning the room right here. It'll be great. Uh, make sure you try these cocktails. They're really great. They're delicious. Cheers. This is Bar of the Pop.